Hello, and welcome to today's lesson about regular tessellations. Here are some vocabulary words and terms that you will need to know and understand for today's lesson. Regular polygon. This is a polygon in which all sides are the same length and all angles have the same measure. Notice you see an equilateral triangle and you see a square and then there are a few other shapes. There's a pentagon, a hexagon, a septagon and an octagon that are all also regular polygons. Tessellation. This is a pattern of shapes that covers a surface completely without overlaps or gaps. So you'll notice in this tessellation of these birds that there are no spaces in here anywhere where there are gaps between the birds, they all fit exactly. And you can see some places where if this tessellation were continued, another bird would fit nicely. For example, right in here, this would be the head and the wing, and then the back, the bottom wing would go out there, or the tail, I'm sorry. Um, there's another spot here where a bird would fit perfectly, and I believe, I don't know, I'd have to look at that a little bit longer. Oh, I think the the feet and the front part, like this part of the feathers and the feet, would fit in here. So you can see where um, if this tessellation were continued, it could really go on forever without any spaces or gaps. Regular tessellation. This is a tessellation of one regular polygon. The only three regular tessellations are shown below. You can only have a regular tessellation that uses all triangles. And again, these are all equilateral triangles all squares, and we know that squares have the same, they're, all four of their sides are the same length, so that's why they're regular. And hexagons are the other one that can, is the only, that's one of the only three that can create a regular tessellation, because all of their sides are the same length. Our next word is tessellate, and it basically just means to tile a surface. You'll notice in all of the pictures of both the regular tessellations and then just a tessellation that all of the surface that the shapes touch is covered. There's no gaps, there's no spaces, and that's what's really important about a tessellation. Our final term for today is tessellation vertex, and this is simply the point where the vertices meet in a tessellation. So for example, a tessellation vertex might be right here, where the three corners of those three hexagons meet, or here, where those ones meet. In the square tessellation, we might see one here or here, and there's lots more than this. Um, and then inside of the triangle one, we can see one here and one here, and again, there's more than just those two. So a tessellation, tessellation vertex is simply the point where the vertices of the shapes in the tessellation meet. Here is your practice problem for the day. Find a small object, a toy of some sort, in your house, preferably something that has a flat bottom, something that it can stand on. See if you can use the bottom of that toy or object to create a tessellation in your practice problem box in your notebook. Good luck.